I'm Connie Tsao, Chair of the American Heart Association Heart Disease and Stroke Statistics 2022 document, and I'm joined today by my Vice Chair, Seth Martin. Each year, the American Heart Association, in conjunction with the National Institutes of Health and other government agencies, brings together in a single document the most up-to-date statistics related to heart disease, stroke, and cardiovascular risk factors in the AHA's My Life Check, Life Simple 7, which include core health behaviors and health factors, including cholesterol, blood pressure, and glucose control that contribute to cardiovascular health. Cardiovascular disease produces immense health and economic burdens in the United States and globally. The statistics update presents the latest data on a range of major clinical heart and circulatory disease conditions, including stroke, congenital heart disease, rhythm disorders, subclinical atherosclerosis, coronary heart disease, heart failure, valvular heart disease, venous disease, and peripheral arterial disease and the associated outcomes. For several years now, the AHA and the scientific community have increasingly recognized the connections between cardiovascular health and brain health. And there's a large body of literature that risk factors for cardiovascular disease are also associated with subclinical brain imaging and cognitive testing abnormalities. So it was time for us to cement this into its own chapter, which we highlight as the brain health chapter. While the statistics update aims to be a contemporary update of annual heart disease and stroke statistics over the past year, we do examine trends over time. And a noteworthy point that I would like to highlight is that we saw a decline in the rate of cardiovascular mortality over the past three decades or so to about 2010. But over the past decade now, we're also seeing a rise in these numbers. And as we know, the rates of obesity and diabetes and poor hypertension control, as well as other lifestyle behaviors that are poor, have been rising, and thus the overall consequences of cardiovascular disease may be related to these observations. And now I'd like to turn it over to Seth for his additional remarks. Thank you, Connie. It's been an absolute pleasure to, to work with you and the entire team, uh, all our um, contributing authors and the AHA staff to bring forward this, this really critical document. And I'd like to highlight it. this is a concerning trend uh, in cardiovascular disease. And um, what the, this trend um, translates to is that every 36 seconds, someone in our country dies of a cardiovascular disease um, event. So this is really concerning and motivating. And what we are learning about brain health is, is really um, exciting in terms of the opportunities to do better, given the shared risk factors between the brain health and cardiovascular heart health. And when we look at blood pressure, smoking, diet, exercise, cholesterol, and so forth, these, these risk factors are shared. And so if we can work together as a nation to bring forward the statistics in this document to, to really motivate us to use um, therapies to address these risk factors, we can make a, a big difference in both brain health and heart health. So I hope that our statistical document will, will serve a, as inspiration for, for action to take care of our cardiovascular health in, in total. Um, I'd just like to acknowledge that this 2022 statistical update is the product of a full year's worth of effort by really dedicated volunteer clinicians and scientists committed government professionals and AHA staff members, without whom this publication, this valuable resource would be impossible. So their contributions are greatly acknowledged and I was honored to be part of the team. Absolutely, Seth, and I echo your sentiments of gratitude to the entire organization of the AHA and all of the writing group members, as well as the other entities you specified. Really without, we're just the face of all of the group's work and very much appreciate everyone's efforts. For the reading more about the document, please refer to our update in the Circulation Journal website and please visit Professional Heart Daily to find related resources.